Hey everyone, welcome back to part 2 of the highlights from the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. It's a bit late I know, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. The first part covered Alfa Romeo, Chrysler and Dodge, and today part 2 looks at Jeep and Ram trucks. For each vehicle I'll be adding some commentary about certain features, price points, and power numbers. So let's get right into it. We'll begin with the Ram brand. This is my first look in person at the 2024 Ram 1500 Revolution concept to preview the future of Ram trucks. We have to keep in mind that this is just a concept, but it does provide a stunning vision of what will come to production around 2024. The front end features an animated glowing Ram badge with an LED tuning fork design. There's no need for a grill without the gas engine, so that's gone. The doors are reimagined in a grand saloon style that show how open things are without the B-pillars. The frunk has one-touch open and close ability, while the charge port, tailgate, flush-mounted door handles, side steps, and a rear step with an active diffuser are all powered features. The truck also has self-leveling capability and rides on 24-inch wheels that light up and stay in place. As for performance, unfortunately Ram didn't release any horsepower or torque numbers yet, so that remains a mystery. We do know the truck will feature all-wheel drive and get powered by two EDMs or electric drive modules, front and rear. These modules are supposed to be capable of up to 443 horsepower each, so the truck could be capable of 886 horsepower, but Stellantis talked about possibly adding a third in an ultra-high performance version to go over 1000 horsepower, and the concept should be good for 500 miles of range. Now we can shift back over to the Hemis and we begin with the top dog, the 2023 Ram TRX Havoc Edition. This is the third variant of these rare TRXs after the Ignition Orange and Sandblast Edition, so it seems like they do one every year. These are typically limited to around 1000 units or less, but Ram didn't disclose that information yet. We do know the Havoc starts at a whopping $104,550 US. This edition will set itself apart from a regular TRX with the unique Baja yellow paint job that's only available on this model, as well as unique 18-inch black wheels and special exterior graphics. Inside, the truck gets Prowler yellow accent stitching, an embroidered TRX seatback logo, unique carbon fiber accents, a leather and carbon fiber flat bottom steering wheel, unique center console badge, heads-up display, and a driver's screen that features a TRX in the Baja yellow color. It also comes with the TRX Level 2 equipment group with lots of bells and whistles, like a 19-speaker Harman Kardon sound system, and heated and ventilated second-row seats. Of course, the main draw is the 6.2-liter Hemi Hellcat engine under the hood, with 702 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque, paired with an 8-speed automatic. Dodge claims 0-60 to 60 happens in just 4.5 seconds. Moving down to the Ram 1500, here's a limited elite trim with the 3 liter Eco Diesel V6 engine or 5.7 Hemi, but this one at the show had the diesel. This truck with the 4x4 costs $63,750. It's the most luxurious truck in its class with polished 20 inch aluminum wheels, 360 degree trailer surround view camera, 12 inch touchscreen, quilted leather bucket seats, leather wrapped steering wheel, power running boards, active level 4 corner air suspension, and the available 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. The engine puts out 260 horsepower and 480 pound feet of torque, and like I said it's a last chance to get a 3 liter eco diesel before it gets discontinued after the 2023 models.
Next is the 2500 Rebel Crew Cab 4x4. This monster starts at $70,320. There are tons of exterior perks, like a Mopar Sport Performance Hood, electronically lockable rear axle, 20-inch black diamond cut wheels with 33-inch Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires, Bilstein gas charge monotube shocks, the Rebel grill and styling, and a 12,000 pound electric winch. This has the level 1 equipment group which has the perforated heated leather steering wheel and seats and a remote start, but it also has the level 2 which adds heated and ventilated bucket seats and 17 Harman Kardon speakers and subwoofer among other things. Under the hood, the 6.4 liter Hemi V8 is standard, but this one has the popular 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel with 370 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque. There was also the 2023 Ram 2500 Limited Night Edition at an MSRP of $88,545. This is the top model available for the 2500 with standard features like 20 by 8 inch black wheels, black bezels and badges, body color grill surround, 12 inch Uconnect screen, premium leather heated and ventilated seats, and lots of safety features. A big draw would be the 6.7 liter inline 6 Cummins turbo diesel engine, which is standard on this model. Now we can move on to the Jeep brand. Jeep showcased a few Grand Cherokees, one of them being the Trailhawk 4xe. This was a 2022 model shown starting at $65,655. It's noticeable with the blue tow hooks, hood decal, and blue accent badging. The Uconnect 5 with 8.4 inch touchscreen is standard, along with many safety features and leather trim seats with suede inserts and blue accent stitching. It also gets the Quadra Drive 2 4x4 system with a Quadra Lift air suspension. As for the 4xe powertrain, the total output is 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, with 25 miles of all-electric range. Another 4xe model was there, the 2023 Wrangler Willys. This started at $54,735. It's the same powertrain as the Grand Cherokee 4xe, and it's able to do 0-60 to in 6 seconds. This specific model has features like LED lights, a black grill, Alpine 9-speaker audio system, 17-inch black painted alloy wheels, electric blue tow hooks and badges, and special Willys hood decals. We also got a look at the Compass Trailhawk 4x4, which cost $35,745. This is the second best Compass model, and it focuses on off-road ruggedness with skid plates, red tow hooks, the Jeep Active Drive Low 4x4 system with disconnecting rear axle, off-road suspension, and select terrain management system with five different modes. 
and under the hood is a 2 liter turbocharged engine. Yet another Trailhawk came in the form of the Cherokee. This is the final model year for the Cherokee before it gets discontinued, and this is the top model for 2023, starting at $41,295. This model has many of the same features that were found on the Compass Trailhawk that we talked about. The 2.0-liter turbo engine makes 270 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, and can tow a best-in-class 4,000 pounds. We keep this Trailhawk theme going with a Renegade. This is the cheapest North American Jeep, starting at $24,695, but of course this Trailhawk is more, at $31,340. It's some pretty good bang for your buck, with 17-inch wheels and all-terrain tires, a full-size spare, off-road front and rear fascias, red tow hooks, matte black hood decals and painted roof, and skid plates. The Jeep Active Dry System includes a 4 low mode with 21 to 1 crawl ratio, as well as that select terrain management system. The one sacrifice comes with the powertrain, with a weaker engine than all the other models, that being a 1.3 liter 4 cylinder with 177 horsepower, 210 pound feet of torque, but a very decent 32 highway MPG. Now we can shift back to the Grand Cherokee with the Summit Reserve L model, the L meaning the longer 3 row version. It costs $70,685 but comes with some nice premium features like 21 inch polished wheels, a dual pane panoramic sunroof, 16 way power adjustable front seats with memory and massage, beautiful Palermo leather seats, a 19 speaker Macintosh audio system, and the Uconnect 5 with a 10.1 inch touchscreen. It's pretty capable too with the available Quadra Drive 2 active 4x4 system and that Jeep Select Terrain traction management system as well as a Quadra lift suspension. Under the hood at the show here was the 5.7 liter Hemi, and that's actually a $4,000 option and not standard. This Hemi produces 357 horsepower, 390 pound-feet of torque, and it's rated for towing around 7,000 pounds. The Grand Cherokee was also present in Overland trim, starting at $59,690 for the 4x4 version that has just the two rows. The Jeep Select Terrain offers five settings, Auto, Sport, Rock, Snow, and Mud slash Sand, while the Quadra Lift Air Suspension also offers five settings, Entry slash Exit, Aero, Normal, and Off-Road 1 and 2. There are also three 4x4 systems to choose from, Quadra Track 1 and 2, or Quadra Drive 2. Inside some of the features include that Macintosh 19 speaker premium system, digital display rear view mirror, heads up display, active driving assist, Amazon Fire TV built in, and a lot more. Under the hood, the 293 horsepower 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 is standard. Next up is the Wrangler Rubicon 392 20th Anniversary Edition. This celebrates the 20th anniversary of the Wrangler Rubicon, with over 700,000 units sold worldwide over that span. So to celebrate, this model will cost $90,985, and Jeep is only building 4,000 of them. Most of the excitement on this model comes from the 6.4 liter Hemi, with 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. So this thing is rated to go 0-60 to in just 4.5 seconds, and rip a quarter mile in 13 seconds flat. That's the quickest, fastest, and most powerful Wrangler ever. This 20th anniversary edition has a different grill, 20th anniversary bronze hood decals, a swing gate plaque, and a special shifter medallion. Other features include 17 by 8 inch wheels with 35 inch all-terrain tires, a 4.56 rear axle ratio, half inch suspension lift, steel bumpers, 
a special 83-piece toolkit, integrated front off-road camera, and Gorilla Glass windshield among many other things. Inside you get cool 392 red and black leather seats, and the instrument panel is red leather wrapped as well. There was also another 20th anniversary Rubicon. This one is the 4xE version that started at $69,585. We've been over the 4xE powertrains, which have 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. Jeep showed this model with the soft top off. Most features are identical to that 392 20th anniversary edition. Just those decals, plaques, and medallions are in an electric blue theme here. Now we move on to the Gladiator. Jeep brought out a concept called the Decoder, and this is basically a Gladiator that's absolutely loaded up with over 35 Jeep performance parts, which are all mostly available for sale from Mopar. The truck is finished in gloss black, and all the accessories are painted in maraschino red. Features include a 2-inch lift kit with Fox shocks, 37-inch BFG MT tires, JPP rock rails, a cold air intake, catback exhaust, snorkel, LED off-road lights, spray and bed liner, Thule cargo basket, tube doors, catskin leather interior, and more. Next is the Gladiator Rubicon, an actual production Gladiator that starts at $50,995. It is a rock track transfer case with a 4 to 1 low range, electronic disconnecting front sway bar, True lock front and rear wheel electric locking axles, Dana 44 front and rear axles with a 4.1 axle ratio, off road plus mode, and a forward facing trail cam. The exterior includes 33 inch off road tires, a dual vented Rubicon hood, red tow hooks, and skid plates. Under the hood here is a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 with 285 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque, and a 6 speed manual transmission standard. Next we check out some of the newest Jeep models, the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneers. Some of my footage was lost on these models, but they were either the same or very similar to the Detroit models that were recently shown off at that auto show in October that I went to, so I substituted footage if I had to, just so you know. First is the Wagoneer L. There is a regular Wagoneer, but I didn't get footage of that since there were tons of people swarming around it the entire time. The Wagoneer L takes the already sizable Wagoneer platform and adds 7 inches to the wheelbase, up to 130 inches, and 5 inches in rear body length for a total of 226.7 inches, that's 1 foot longer than a Wagoneer. And L models will also add $3,000 in cost. This Wagoneer L is the Series 2 Carbide 4x4, starting at $71,725. The Carbide appearance package adds features like gloss black accents, a tri-pane panoramic sunroof, and 22 inch gloss black wheels. Inside there's a 10.1 inch Uconnect screen in the center console and a 10.25 inch cluster display, but there's also a class exclusive 10.25 inch front passenger interactive display as well. Under the hood is a new 3 liter Hurricane Twin Turbo standard output engine with 420 horsepower and 486 pound feet of torque. With this engine and the trailer tow package, the Wagoneer L can tow 10,000 pounds.
Next was the 2023 Grand Wagoneer Obsidian with a huge price tag of $103,490. There are many differences between a Wagoneer and a Grand Wagoneer. So for example, the Grand Wagoneer adds bigger wheels, automatic mirrors, a different grille, some new LED lights, a more premium interior, second row bucket seats, four zone climate control, better technology, a more powerful engine, and 24% more maximum cargo volume, just to name a few things. That's why it costs over $30,000 more. The Obsidian here adds another appearance package with 22 inch wheels and gloss black exterior accents. Inside you upgrade to a 12.3 inch cluster and 12 inch touchscreen and there are up to 75 inches of screens and displays overall. The interior has Palermo leather on most surfaces and suede wrapped headliner and pillars. Under the hood there is the high output 3 liter hurricane engine this time with 510 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque and that can tow 9,750 pounds. The 2023 Grand Wagoneer Series 3 made an appearance, so this is one trim level above the Obsidian, starting at $107,995. This has more of a chromed out look instead of the black. The biggest reason for the price jump is the absolutely stunning interior with premium quilted Palermo leather trim seats with massage, this one finished in Tupelo. Compared to that last interior we saw, this almost feels like a different vehicle entirely. Finally, we've got the ultimate Jeep vehicle, the 2023 Grand Wagoneer L Series 3. It's yours for $110,995 and comes with pretty much everything we've covered so far. There's a standard 4x4 system with Quadra Drive 2, the Hurricane High Output Twin Turbo Engine, Quadra Lift Air Suspension with Semi-Active Damping, Independent Front and Rear Suspension, 9,450 pound towing capacity, black painted roof and tinted glass, and 22 inch polished wheels. Inside, it's also got the premium quilted Palermo leather. This one shows off the blue agave color. Seats are 24-way adjustable with heat, ventilation, memory, and massage, and there is 4-way climate control. So that's it for part 2 of the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. Hope you enjoyed the recap and getting up close and personal with these beautiful vehicles. If you're looking for Alfa Romeo, Chrysler and Dodge, that was done in part 1. Link will be in the top right corner. Which was your favorite vehicle today and do you have plans to order any? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.